staff, I hope that you are doing well. And today I'm going to introduce you to what I like to call the Residence Life Pizzeria. And, and things that fall into that are serving the slices, or the not spicy wings, the menu, the crust, and the last slice. So it really is serving the slices, uh, or serving the residents. Uh, I think I take initiative on meeting your residents, and this is how I, you know, make a difference on my floor. Um, I get to know them, you know, what they like, gauge their interests. What programs would you like to see? You know, what's your favorite TV show? What's your favorite food? And then I think I make the residents feel included by, you know, at the beginning of the semester, I'll put, I'll go buy candy with my own money, put a candy bar on the door with a note that says, you know, have a great first day or something. And I think that makes them feel like they're included on the floor and that they can come to me if they need me. Uh, so my strengths, um, being someone on staff, I think I'm someone on staff who members can come to. Um, someone who is definitely professional and more concise with how they do things, but also has a very like personable and approachable um, feel. Uh, an example would be that I try to lead the group during like checkouts and check-ins and interhall programs. You know, what's the most efficient, effective way of getting the job done? <clears throat> and I think I do this pretty well. Uh, things to do differently, I'd say I'd get more involved with individual staff members as a whole, a little bit more personally. Um, plan more staff bonding trips during the semester for sure, and then lead the staff more as a potential third RA. I think I do have aspects of, you know, leading the staff, but I think there are some things that I can definitely improve on. Uh, so my role, the roles and knots, my role. Um, I think, like I said uh, previously, I think I'm a leader on staff who can stay calm and collected, um, remaining professional. Uh, but I think the biggest part is just like making staff laugh and being personable. You know, our job is serious and there are very serious aspects to being an RA, but also, you know, you need to sit down, take a step back and just like enjoy the situation you're in and just make the most of it. Uh, this, These are a couple pictures uh, of the staff together uh, that I really enjoyed. And these are a couple pictures of uh, my friend group from a different, uh, from different staffs. Um, I just wanted to include this because, you know, it goes to show that you don't have to just make friends with your staff members. You can make friends with any staff member and or any, uh, you know, RA in any building, and that can really make friendships that you'll cherish for life. Honestly, I attribute the RA job to making these friendships because without it, I wouldn't have made these awesome friends. Um, so I'm very thankful for that. Uh, so going into contributions, what I bring to the table. Um, I think I bring a sense of ease, I bring a leadership style, uh, but I also bring my adaptability and communication skills, um, which segues into the uh, strength quests, five uh, my top five strengths, uh, which are adaptability, communication, restorative, relator, and includer. Um, I think the most important three are adaptability, communication, and includer, so because adaptability, you know, maybe you're one of your staff members has to do a quick duty night switch and you need to be there to accommodate that. You also, you know, maybe a resident has something that they really need you to do. You kind of have to adapt to that situation. Communication, you need to be able to communicate with your staff members well, your residents well, but also administration. And then includer, I would say, obviously, you just need to include your staff members on things. You need to include your residents into the floor, make them feel welcome, make them feel whole. Uh, going into some self-reflection over these past two years, um, I think I've enhanced a lot of my major skills be being an RA. I've definitely learned how to be a better team player and be more organized. Uh, you can surely ask Dave that I was definitely more of a procrastinator uh, going into being an RA and even just last year, um, but I think I've really worked on it. And because of the RA position, I was able to enhance that skill uh, and you know get better in that. Uh, area. And then something I would do differently, like I said, would just try to get to know staff on a more personal level. Uh, so going into the spicy wing section or the difficult situation, um, once a resident approached me about a recent breakup, this was not my resident, but it was a resident on my floor. Uh, they were having recent bad days and they were going through a lot and, you know, this just kind of set them over the edge. So I sat down with them and a private area and talked about, you know, what options uh, they had and the personal experience that I had um, in that area. 
the resident appreciated my feedback and actually went to a counselor on campus. I had told them, you know, if this is something you can't handle on your own, maybe you should go see a counselor. Um, they did approach me after the fact and said that, you know, counseling wasn't really for them, but I am glad that they went and they experienced that um, just so they knew. Uh, the resident uh, left a candy bar on my door as a thank you, which is really nice. Um, it showed me, you know, that they appreciated my feedback. Um, so going into, you know, the situation after the fact, possibly something I should have done was maybe ask the reason for the breakup and address that directly. Um, you know, I don't want to get too personal or too involved, but it is something, you know, that maybe I could have addressed it in a less vague manner. Um, it was a very rewarding experience, though, uh, knowing that, you know, she felt comfortable coming to me was, I think, something that a lot of the RA strive for the residents to know that they, you know, for residents to come to them that feel comfortable coming to the RA, I think, is something that all the RA strive for. Um, and then the candy bar, you know, made me know that she appreciated my feedback and she cared about what I had to say, even if it didn't directly uh, impact, you know, the decision she made. <clears throat> and then the menu or programming. So programming is a great tool to use to get to know your residents, get to know how you function, how you organize, how you plan. Um, each building has its own program quirks. And what I mean by this is that, you know, programming in Spruce is different from programming in Sycamore is different from programming in Oak. Um, Sycamore has kind of a more passive programming vibe then oak has a more interactive programming vibe simply because you're talking about you know the difference between seniors and freshmen but you need to know those differences so you can tailor those programs to your audience or your residents so you're not making programs that no one's going to um, but it is even in that regard it's not all about numbers it's about the quality of the program um, i think that this was stressed very well during fall training um, but I think it's something that always needs to be stressed. A lot of the new RAs will come in and they'll, you know, think, oh, I got 10 people on my program. Like, that sucks. But number one, that's not even really a bad number. And number two, it's about the quality that the, you know, that the experience the residents had, not about the number of the amount of residents that came. Uh, so going into a couple of programs here, these are a couple of collaborative programs I did. Actually, all of these are from the spring semester. Um, one I'm going to focus on to talk about really quick is the Noodle Night um, with Tierney, uh, Ben, and I. It was a really fun experience. We made, you know, pasta, mac and cheese, and ramen. Uh, we had gone around and asked, you know, what's your favorite food? A lot of people actually said that they liked, you know, mac and cheese. They liked pasta. It's kind of like a comfort food. And then people were just like, oh, I just eat ramen. So we were accommodating in that regard. Um, all the residents who came loved it. Uh, there was a lot of laughs. It was a really good time. And I think having these floor programs, even if they're not like super meaningful in the sense of education value, really do provide a big uh, impact on the residents. Uh, just, you know, knowing that, you know, they have an awesome floor and really connecting them more to the building as a whole. And then these uh, programs are programs that I did on my own. Um, the panini program was probably my favorite one. Um, it was a really fun experience. I made paninis and talked about roommate conflicts with the uh, roommate agreement sheet that we were given in training. And uh, I really enjoyed it and the residents really enjoyed it. Uh, and I thought it was a good time. So uh, I learned, I, and I think programming in general makes you learn how to interact with different kinds of people, especially living in a rural area. Um, you know, you may not be used to different cultures that come with college. I really did enjoy the resident interest programs. Something maybe I would add on to that is like I just previously talked about, I think it would be cool to have a, I don't know if you want to make it required, but a uh, inter or your your floor program to where it's like, you know, me, Tierney and Ben, we're floor partners, we did a program together. I think you should have at least one of those. Um, and then also, I think uh, it's good to give RAs better knowledge on what resources they can use, specifically with clubs, like, you know, the computer science club doing VR. A lot of RAs, you know, aren't maybe super involved in campus life outside of, you know, maybe sports or something, and they don't really know about all these different clubs. So I think giving them better knowledge on those resources that they can use for programs would be useful. So the CRUST, or staff training. Um, I love staff bonding activities. Honestly, I think they're the best part of training. I know we're there to learn, but I love the staff bonding. Um, recently, the information are, in the past couple of trainings has not been overloaded at all. I think it's been very reasonable and, and I'm very respectful of the, you know, 
time that it takes for you guys to plan all of the stuff. But I'm very thankful that we don't start, you know, before 10 because I'm a very, or nine, because I'm a very, uh, I'm not a very morning person. So I do appreciate that. Um, I guess what I would say is maybe provide more optional activities. I know a lot of people bag on the staff bonding activities. I love them. I think they're awesome. And personally, I think it's just like, you know, don't complain, but obviously that's not me. Um, but, you know, people feel that way. Maybe they want some more optional activities. Uh, I guess an idea would be, you know, I think this was fall training, uh, my first fall training where we had the yoga, the, um, I, I, rem I remember the yoga because that's what I did, but there was two other options you could do as well. Maybe something like that, give people a little bit more options um, so that, you know, they can do something that they want to do. Um, so going into staff bonding activities or what I would add to training. So it says top 10, but it's not actually like in any order. It's just what I would like to see. Um, Cherry Springs Park, I think would be really awesome. I'm not sure if, if you don't know what Cherry Springs Park is. It's basically a park with no, um, with no light, like no unnatural light. So there's, uh, there's no, uh, light blocking the stars or anything. So you can just see the stars directly. It's really awesome. Uh, maybe doing bowling in Corning or Williamsport. There's some bowling alleys there. That would be really fun. Going to the PA Grand Canyon would be really cool. Um, the movie theater I thought was really awesome. I'd love to do that again. Same with a little half pint. I really liked the cooking with Dr. Lin. I know that there was like some mixed feelings about that. I thought that was really awesome for cultural diversity um, aspect. Uh, maybe a Nerf War laser tag thing between buildings, capture the flag, and Laurel. If Laurel's still up, who knows? <laughs> Um, street art mural maybe would be really cool and like in front of, you know, maybe not even in the street, but in front of one of the buildings and then like a hide and seek or manhunt would be really cool. So I would also add, I'd say focus more on programming and inner staff relations. Um, and what I mean by focus more on programming is um, focus more on, you know, how to plan, how to organize, you know, you know, what you should be doing, you know, how to focus programs for building specifically. And then inner staff relations, you know, just maybe some more things that are focused more to the staff as a whole, like spruce staff or sycamore staff uh, that target, you know, people getting together within their staffs. Um, I would say more interactive sessions like fire safety with Jim Welch. Um, I really enjoyed the interactive sessions like that. And then the active shooter training with Chief Henry. I would definitely try to have more of those where possible. Um, and then another recommendation that I would have would be just more specific requirements slash desires uh, f from RAs that you want us to do. Basically saying, you know, what do you want from us? Like more specific requirements. I think a lot of the times the expectations um, are a little vague and not set as at, like very precisely. And the second to third year RAs are kind of left to show the new RAs, you know, what to do, which is fine. Um, but I think it is good to have some sort of expectations set uh, so that, you know, the staff members know, you know, what they're supposed to be doing and how they're supposed to be doing it. And then just some closing notes. I just wanted to say, you know, that I'm so appreciative of what you guys do. <laughs> I really am and how thankful I am for this opportunity. Um, and that being an RA has been an awesome experience and I've learned so much and gained so much knowledge and experience. And without this position, I would have never made, you know, awesome friends that I have. And I'm just immensely thankful and appreciative. And I hope that you all have a great day and thank you for listening.